you can use the tablet to quickly access and control the settings of your data video encoder. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to connect your tablet to a data video NVS33 or Video Streaming Studio. Let's get started. I will be doing this video today using a data video NVS33, but the user interface and steps will be the same for your data video Video Streaming Studio as well. You'll need a few things to get started, an iOS or Android tablet, a Mac or PC computer, a data video encoder, a Wi-Fi router, and an Ethernet cable. Before we can control the NVS33 with your tablet, we need to connect it with your router. There are different steps if you have a Mac or a PC. First, we will show you how to connect it with a Mac. Step one is to find the IP range of your router. So, connect your Mac to the router. On your Mac, in the top left, click on the Apple logo and select System Preferences, then Network. Now you can see your IP address. Write it down and keep this window open. Step two is to directly connect to the NVS33 to set its static IP address. So let's connect your computer to the NVS33 with the Ethernet cable. On your Mac screen, it will appear on your network settings. Under Configure IPv4, select Manually. Set your IP address to 192.168.1 Dot 59. Your subnet mask needs to be 255.255.255.0. Then click Apply. Now you can log into the NVS33 using your browser. The default backdoor IP is 192.168.1.60. Username is admin. Password is six zeros. Now go to System. Under DHCP mode, click Disable. If your router's range is 168.1, you can leave it as is or change the last number, also known as an octet, and you've completed this step and you can click Submit. But if your router was in another IP range besides 168.1, like 168.100 or 168.0, change it to that range and you can customize the octet to any number you want as long as another device on that network doesn't share that IP and it's three digits or less. Then click Submit. Now go back to your network settings on your computer and change your computer's IPv4 to what it was before. For us, it was using DHCP. Next, connect your tablet to the Wi-Fi network of your router. Now you can enter in the NVS33's static IP that you just set into the browser of your tablet. You will be prompted to log in to your encoder. The default username is admin, and the default password is six zeros. From here, you can set up your video streaming and recording settings, start and stop streaming and recording, format your storage, and more. Now, if you are using a PC, first run an ethernet cable from your router to your data video encoder and turn it on. Make sure your computer is connected to the internet through your router. In the description below, there is a link to download the data video IP finder utility. Click the link and download the app. Once the tool is downloaded, double click the IP Finder Utility Program icon to open the IP Finder tool. On the bottom of the user interface, click Scan. When scanning is complete, the NVS33 will show up on the interface. Double click on the shown device. It will open a web browser to the NVS33 Interface Login tab. The default login credentials are the following. Username, admin, password, six zeros. After entering the login credentials, you are in the NVS33 interface. Write down the IP address. Now that we have set the IP address for the NVS33, we can control it using a tablet or smartphone. Next, connect your tablet to the Wi-Fi network of your router. Open the internet browser on your tablet and enter the IP address for the NVS33 you have written down. You will be prompted to log in to your encoder. The default username is admin, and the default password is six zeros. From here, you can set up your video streaming and recording settings, start and stop streaming and recording, format your storage, and more. For more tutorials on the NVS33, check out the links in the description below. Be sure to follow us on social media for the latest news and more videos. Thanks for watching.